Hello, Slicey Dicers. This is Brian with another knife review for you. Today we have the Zero Tolerance 0460 tie. This is not just any 0460 tie, though. This is custom uh, anodized by USA Made Blade. Uh, we're, we'll talk more about that at the end. Uh, if you guys want to skip ahead, I'll try and remember to put a timestamp down there. I'm going to mostly just do a review of the knife first and foremost. And then afterwards, I'll talk about the uh, the cool... Uh, Animascus finish, they call this on this, that USA Mayblade puts on, and how they do that and things like that. But first, let's talk about this knife. Uh, very, very cool. This is another one that uh, Witty at USA Mayblade uh, convinced me to try. I never liked the 0450, which is another knife they make in this kind of smaller size range for ZT. It just never fit my hand correctly, and I just never really got used to it. This, uh, he assured me, would fit my hand better. And it does, spoiler alert. Uh, Sinkovich design, really cool, kind of sweepy sort of shape. It is obviously like a, a smaller version of the 0462. I actually don't remember which one came first. It's a chicken and egg thing. I don't remember which one came first. Uh, but they recently just released this full titanium version, which allows USA Made Blade and other people who can do anodization properly to do cool things like this. It makes it endlessly customizable. And this one has obviously been customized, but the internals and everything like that are all exactly the same. So most of this review is going to apply to any 0462 tie that you see. Just this one happens to happens to be uh, to be custom anodized. Let's do some uh, stats and size comparisons before we get too much farther. We have an overall length of seven and a half inches, blade length of three and a quarter inches, blade thickness of 0.12 inches, handle thickness very slim at 0 0.4 inches and weight uh, it's very light it's only uh only 2.3 ounces it's a light little knife for sure i really do like that about it a whole lot size comparisons let's start out with some of our usuals i'm gonna try and line up the pivots here and stuff i am zoomed in on this because i want to show you that animascus when we get to that point so i gotta move stuff around a little bit we have a year against your spider co paramilitary two and the para three you can see it's kind of, it's a little longer than the pair of three. Just a little bit. Uh, but smaller than the PM2, obviously. Uh, another smaller, um, you know, uh, Kai Kershaw, you know, Kai ZT product. The Atmos. A little bit larger than the Atmos. Um, compare it to some more uh, high dollar stuff. These aren't horribly high dollar. They're uh, 220 It's not that bad. Uh, but we'll compare it against some higher dollar stuff here. Just we have your uh, Hender Half Track and uh, Benchmade Anthem. The Anthem's just another nice slimmer size thing. You can see, it's just a little bit shorter than the Anthem is. Now, uh, let's get into this knife specifically blade wise. It's it's really nice. It's 20 CV. You know, it's great steel, pretty thin behind the edge. It's got this swooping kind of Persian-y sort of blade. Uh, that, that's, you know, whether you like it or not, that's just kind of a Marmite thing. People either love them or they hate them. Uh, I go back and forth. On this knife, I think it works really well because it just swoops, you know, from the blade into the handle. And I like that one continuous curve. I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, but uh, as far as its us usability goes, it's very thin behind the edge. Uh, the tip on it is still pretty good. You're not going to worry about snapping the tip off. It's it's pretty decent. That's always something I look for in a knife. I don't like really super dainty, thin little tips. Um, but it yeah, it cuts well. Uh, it is a fair amount of billboarding on it. That's kind of getting more into the looks thing. Um, but uh, yeah, I think it I think it's pretty good. The the uh, plunge grind. I mean the the sorry the uh, the sharpening choil. Catches a bit of that plunge. It's not perfect, but it's not too far off from it. It's not too bad. But a pretty cool blade. Great for use, actually. It looks kind of swoopy and crazy, but it actually is a pretty good EDC blade. Ergonomically, also, uh, yeah, Woody was right. This is this does fit my hand so much better than the 0460. Again, I have large size hands, but very, very skinny fingers. And But still, the 0460, just always something was always hitting my palm wrong. This with that curve just gives you a bit more real estate to grab a hold of, and it fits my hand so much better. And I do really like that about it. And the sweep of the blade is it's kind of nice for moving your thumb around on, because you can reach your thumb out pretty far, especially if you have long, ridiculous thumbs like me. 
and I do like that about it. No hot spots whatsoever. The stock pocket clip, nothing. Feels great. Really, really nice in the hand. I do really, really like that about it. Uh, as far as how it carries, let me show you. Bring out uh, Yield Wranglers here. It slides in pretty good. Uh, I, this this uh, anodization they put on here gives it a bit more traction than it would in a normal one. So I think the regular one would probably slide out even better. But uh, yeah, you got some sticking out. It's definitely not like deep carry or anything. But uh, I believe there are aftermarket options for this. I, honest, I admit, I just realized right now I didn't look for that. I meant to before I did, but recorded this, but I had not. Uh, but it is super easy to slide your hand past. It's got a very small flipper tab. It's very, very minimalist. You don't feel it at all. So it's it's a great knife to carry. And as I said, the weight, 2.3 ounces. You don't even know it's there. It's a really, really nice knife to carry. Absolutely. Especially in like just a three and a quarter inch blade. That's not a big blade, but it's not tiny either. Deployment. Uh, that, that, this thing is, is great. It's got this tiny little flipper tab, but man, that's all you need. The detent is perfect and it just rockets out every time obviously to anodize that this is what's taken apart and put back together by usa made blade but um just feels like a zt to me it's uh i don't know if they did any special sauce to it or anything but i, I don't think they changed the lube or anything i've not taken it apart because this is a giveaway knife and i don't want to do that so um but, oh, nice and drop shutty detents perfect I, I have zero complaints about the deployment on this at all. It is a fun, fidgety, just cool knife. It's super, super cool. Um, I, I, I like that about it a lot. Uh, so my conclusion on the knife itself and the 0460 itself is, uh, yeah, I uh, really wish... Uh, they, the t full tie version wasn't available when I bought my um, 0450. But uh, I wish, I, I think the carbon one was of this, and uh, I wish, I kind of wish I'd have gotten that instead of the 0450, I'd probably still have it. Uh, the 0450 I did not keep for very long at all. But this, I I really, really like this. I like the 0460 a lot. It, the, the looks on it, like I said, are a bit Marmite. And I admit, like currently today, I think it looks great, but there are some days I, I pick it up and I'm just, I haven't had it for that long, but a couple of days I picked it up and I was like, yeah, it's too swoopy. And then some days I think it looks cool. So it's it's kind of kind of up and down as far as the looks goes. Uh, but overall, for 220 bucks, 20 CV, it's full titanium. It's really light. It's easy to carry. It's a ZT. It's built like a ZT. I have no problems there. Uh, so that's my conclusion on the actual knife. But then we get into this anodization. Uh, basically, USA Made Blade will do whatever you want. And what's cool about them is sometimes they just pump a bunch out. I think when he gets bored and he just anodizes a bunch of knives. And when he does that, uh, yeah, it's not any extra. It's just this, this knife in this finish was 220 on the website. Same as it costs for a regular one. And yeah, this is the Animascus finish. As I said, how they do that, I asked him, I said, can you explain in idiot terms how you do this? And he said, we anodize it, we laser it, and we anodize it again. So uh, yeah, this is two different colors of anodization. You can see it's like a, a blue and kind of goldish, yellowish. Uh, but the blue is, is you know, the, the, the undercoat, I guess you would call it. And it does kind of, sometimes it gives it a little purple and stuff when you move it around. I don't know if you can see. I hope video is doing, is doing justice to this. It's pretty cool. And, as I alluded to in the carry, it does add a bit more traction. I don't have a regular 0460 tie here to compare it to, but I do have an 0562 tie, which I assume is the same finish. It looks like it. And I can say that this is much slicker than what you're getting after this anodization treatment, which a lot of people will really like. So not only are you getting the cool color that you like, maybe you can also, you know, get a bit more traction on it if that's something that you want. So uh, yeah, check out usamadeblade.com. I'll put a link, all that stuff 
go down and try and find uh you, you, you'll see he, he posts up stuff that he anodizes and also does custom anodization too so you can just you know when you order you can get you can get their their logo is a big like a uh, sasquatch thing i don't have the sticker here in front of me but um you can get their little sasquatch on it you can get whatever you want pretty much anodized onto them, which is it's pretty pretty cool they have a you know laser and all that stuff everything they need to do all that and they do a damn good job i have to say this is really nicely done really nicely done and i think the next knife i get from usma blade i'll probably get him to do something funky on it uh very very cool option to have and uh yeah go check them out and again thank you guys so much this is a giveaway knife for my 7500 giveaway i didn't make a big deal up front because this video is going to live forever but if uh, you want to go back and watch my uh AMA video, my 7500 giveaway AMA video, ask me a question and you can win it. Drawing's tomorrow night though, so you don't have much time, so go check that out. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I've definitely enjoyed having this knife and I am tempted by one. Not, I don't think it's like an instant purchase, but it's uh, something I'm, I'm, it's going to be in the back of my mind when I want a nice slim, another nice slim titanium knife like this. The 0460, pretty cool. And this, this anodization, even cooler. Hope you guys have enjoyed this. I've been Brian. Have a good one.